Well, fortunately for us, we received another error, which is great, because then we have something to work on, right? I know, you're probably not as excited as I am. But, either way, here we go. Failed to build. Nine minutes into it, it says we have one error, and that error is right here. Java doc error in docket class, blah, 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 message start has thrown an exception, blah, 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 invoke something or other, completion, failure, class file for com, android, ok, http, connection, pool, not found. One error. And you can kind of look back and see all the trace of that error. So what I want to talk about is when we have an error when we build, because you will have errors while you build, what do you do about them? Well, the best thing that you can do is web search them. I know, sounds cheap, but that's really a good place to start. If you haven't seen the error before, if you're not sure what to look at, that's a good place to start because most likely someone else has had the problem first. So I punched it into Chromium here into Google and I did put Lineage OS in the front so I, that it was specific to what I'm doing and I just pasted in the error and looked up a couple pages and there was some people that also had the error and they're like man I don't know what to do I tried I've got the error and I can't fix it and it's not working so like these these people had this error and they're like man I don't know what to do and these guys are like I gave up I went from building CyEngine mod nugget to just going over to resurrection remix instead right I'm like that doesn't help us we want to solve the problem for what we're trying to build same thing over here. They're like, hey, hey, I had this error and I tried all these different things. I tried using uh, different versions of Ubuntu. I tried going newer, tried going older, and guess what? I couldn't uh, figure it out, so I ended up just going to a different um, build. I just went to Bliss instead of to Lineage. And it's like, well, that doesn't help us. So I kept going, and I found a, uh, a page here from Pig Nest blog and uh, I can't read all of this very wonderful language up here that I'm not sure what it is if that's Chinese or Japanese or something Asian ease uh, so I don't know what uh, what specific language it's in but I used uh, the translate to translate the page um, and when I did that, it shows us here error one, Java doc could not find the required file, and it's giving very similar issue to what I've got with class file for com android ok http connection pool not found. And here we go, the solution that he had was that you have the incorrect version of OpenJDK. So instead of using the version that Google describes in the AOSP file, so the instructions for building AOSP, which is where we got the OpenJDK from, he says instead of using those, use a newer version that comes with Ubuntu 16.04 suite library, can capture I installed 1.8.0.151 on my machine, you can use the Java version command to confirm the version you have installed. So I took a look, and the Java version that I had installed was actually uh, 45, which is what uh, we had got from that page on the AOSP. So I just jumped in here, and this is why in some other videos I suggest uh, instead of downloading those directly off of that open uh, off of that Android open source project page, that you could set up a PPA and uh, just download them that way. So what I did is Ubuntu 14.04 OpenJDK 8 PPA and sure enough first one that pops up here it is and two commands that you gotta run in your terminal so I ran those commands updated and so now check my Java version and it's 171 so much uh, much better uh, one thing to make sure is if you update your Java, you should make sure your update alternatives are configured properly. So we're going to use exclamation mark 121, which says, hey, run this command 121 again. And sure enough, yep, we're still selected to uh, open JDK 8, but we'll hit 2 to make sure. And then uh, also 122. So one, 122. 
And there we go, open JDK8. Yep, good. All right. So we're going to give that a try and uh, see if that fixes our issue because that's what uh, um, this gentleman was saying was the problem for him. So I do want to run the build environment setup shell again, make sure that everything is set up properly. If I had left my terminal or something like that, then maybe it's not set up properly still. The terminal was still open, so we're probably okay without running that, but just something to keep in mind. If you had closed the terminal and gone to do something else, come back. It's good to make sure your build environment setup shell uh, has been run, so everything is set up properly for this build. And we're going to brunch that lineage JFLTE XX user debug variant and we'll hit enter and hopefully that'll solve our problems. If not, we'll be back.